Hey, what's up? This is James from Kill the Lights, and I'm going to share my dream tour scenario today with you. Um, so, starting off this scenario here, it's got a bit of a mix of mix of uh, artists, I guess, but uh, all artists that kind of have influenced me throughout my life, and just as I've evolved within my kind of just music listening and just uh, overall interest in music and metal music, rock music. Um, so I would start with Nirvana, um, you know, early nineties, uh, my teens kind of growing up, um, they were the, really the first, first band that I connected with, uh, that was different. I'd listened to a lot of kind of pop and just classic, uh, English rock music, but Nirvana were the first thing that were just, this had this different vibe, a different sound, that Seattle sound. And, uh, just, just kind of change things up, you know, for the music industry as a whole. Um, so I remember though, I will say, I remember kind of giving some kids crap about listening to Nirvana initially. And, uh, uh, I ended up kind of just really evolving and, and starting and playing in my own band and, and being influenced by them too. So, um, second, second band on this tour would be Metallica. And that would be the, the old school thrash Metallica that would have Cliff Burton playing bass. Um, just kind of the energy and just watching, watching some of that, uh, some of the early videos of, uh, how they kind of don't, didn't give a shit about like what they're doing or how they were doing it. They just, they just went out there and played music. They were raw. They were kind of creating their own scene. Um, it just really influenced me and, 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 and how I play my music, how I approach my stage presence and, uh, how I write music too, just even moving forward to now. My third artist that I would have uh, would be would be Queen. Um, uh, my my stepdad growing up was a huge Queen fan. I remember I remember having uh, New Year's Eve parties and he would have Queen blasting on the uh, TV, and then he blew the speakers every time I think. And uh, uh, he actually went to the. Uh, I think there were about 200,000 people in Spain. I think it was Barcelona they play, played. And he always would share stories about, you know, uh, how impactful that was on his life. Um, I mean, just the overall music, you know, Freddie Mercury as, as, a, as a front man, as an artist, uh, about what he stood for and what the band has stood for since. Um, you know, so that, that, so that being said, my top three would be Nirvana, Metallica, and Queen. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.